What in the world is going on? Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Frozen Friday video. As you can see, the weather in my area is quite bad. So what is the weather like where you are? I know I have a lot of friends and family that, are, that live in Florida. So I've been quite envious of the weather down there. I guess the spring will be here eventually and we can finally go outside and enjoy it. But today I have some new Frozen merchandise to show off to you. Um, some of the stuff I've had for a while waiting to get to the other part that goes with it so I can show them both. So I hope you like the stuff I have to show. So here we go. First off I have this frozen tote bag. I got this from Hot Topic back when I was vacationing in Florida. They actually, I don't think they got this in at my local one here where I live. Unfortunately, I don't know about you, but my Hot Topic is lacking on the frozen merchandise. It's really, really bad. So <laughs> it's quite depressing. So luckily I was able to get this at a different one. This got really pretty art from the storybook um, artists. And on the back is a nice snowy image of Elsa, which goes really well with my wonderful weather outside. <laughs> On the side, we have her castle, and the other side is her castle as well. It's a pretty nice bag. This is by Loungefly, and of course they make tons of nice stuff and Hot Topic sells. This is $8.50 originally priced. I'm pretty sure I paid full price for this. I don't think they had any sales going on at the time. But I really, really like the image on this bag. It's really pretty. So there's that. Next I have some little notebooks. I got this one at AC Moore. It's a craft store. I've not seen this anywhere else. This is like a unique type item. It's by Tri Coastal Design. Uh, it is a really pretty design. It says chilling in the sunshine, which is which I would like to do right now. It has a nice little note pad in the front that has Olaf. So that's pretty cute. And then of course the regular notebook inside. And there's little Olaf's dancing around on the pages. This I thought was really cute. So I just had to have it. I like these images of Olaf. It's original concept art, storybook art type uh, images of him. I can't remember how much I paid for this because um, the price tag is not on anymore. But I did get it at AC Moore, so if you have an AC Moore in your area, you can look for it. Uh, okay, I got this also at AC Moore. This is a journal. It is a die cut journal, so it does have like a little awesome cutout here. So it shows the sisters, Anna and Elsa, and the, the, the book is really sparkly on the front. The flowers and the snowflakes. And there's the back. The pages are really nice too. There are snowflakes on the pages. I thought it was pretty cool. And this is by Innovative Designs. LLC. So, got this AC Moore as well. Next, I have these little flyers. These were free flyers that Walmart gave out in their bakery section. It's for the Frozen on Ice that's going on, and these were sponsored by Stony Field Yo Kids Organic Foods. It had a coupon at the bottom for $5 off. I think it expired though at the end of December. Yeah, so never mind, the coupons expired. But on the back is a dot to dot of Olaf, and you can color the image on both sides. 
that was pretty cool. So I figured I'd grab a few of them while they were laying out. They had tons of them. Next, I have this puzzle. If you follow me on Instagram, I put this together and took a picture of it. It's a really awesome, large puzzle. It's 300 pieces, so it's pretty big. And it's the fun size, so the pieces are huge, so the puzzle's huge, like I said. So it's pretty nice. And here's what the puzzle looks like when you put it together. It's a full image. But the pieces are really nice, and this is by Mega Puzzles. I have a few of the other ones. Have you seen my other Frozen Fridays or other Frozen collectible videos before I did the Frozen Fridays? I showed off some of these, the other ones. Here's all the ones in the set. I actually have at least three others from this set. I'd like to get the Elsa one, but I've never seen it in a store yet. It's really nice. And I got this at Kohl's, but you can also get these at Joann's, and I think Target had them too. So there's a few different places where you can find these puzzles. Next, I have something interesting. <laughs> when I saw it, I just had to have it. It's a frozen cereal. And if you grew up in the 90s, the Frozen Collector's Edition cereals was really big back then. And I was actually kind of surprised they still do this, but these run for a limited time. Uh, Frozen's pretty big, so of course they made cereal of it. It's by Kellogg's. I got this at Walmart. They had tons of them at the time, but now my Walmart is completely sold out. But some of my friends are still finding them at different places, so you might luck out and still find a box somewhere. It is a really sparkly box. And it is double-sided. It says, with snow and ice crystal marshmallows. And it's basically just like Lucky Charms in a way. There are like blue and white pieces, I guess, to try to simulate snow and ice. But it's pretty basic. I bought one for my collection and I bought two to enjoy why they were out, so seemed worth it to collect but you can find this at Walmart and I think Target had them too but I'm not real, real sure so you might have to look around and you might be able to find this or somebody on eBay is selling them it's a collector's edition box after all and next I have something kind of quirky but it's merchandise so I'm going to show it off I got it at Hot Topic it is the Elsa Frozen Brawl and Panty set, so excuse me if you if you think this is kind of wrong for me to show, but it's merchandise, so I'm showing it. Here is the Brawl of Elsa, and like I said, you can get this at Hot Topic. You can see Elsa on there in a swirly snow pattern. It has a basic lace liner on the sides and the back. And then the panties have the same kind of deal with this large snowflake and blue ice type pattern all over them. They're quite pretty, but like I said, it's kind of <laughs> kind of weird to show. But it's merchandise, so I wanted to show it because I'm sure somebody out there would be like, "Oh wow, that's pretty." So I think it's worth showing. And it does have the lace. I don't really care for the lace on the underwear part. It kind of like gets annoying after a while, preferably. <laughs> um, next I have this Book of Secrets set. And originally in an original video, I showed off the Anna one because I had her first. I couldn't find Elsa for the longest time, but I finally got the Elsa one. So here is Elsa. And Anna Book of Secrets. And now that these have been out for so, so long, they actually have larger versions of these. These are the smaller original versions. And it's to keep your dreams and secrets under lock and key. And then it says on the back, Anna loves to dream and can help you keep your secrets and dreams inside this book. Keep your wishes, dreams, and photos safe in a special book of secrets. Write down your best memories and your favorite things and use the key to lock them away. 
and the Elsa one is the same deal. It says the same on the back. But you get the key right here, and of course the lock is already attached. And it's basically like a little fun journal. You can put all kinds of things in here. Guest list of parties, you can write diary secrets, names of friends with their birthdays. Uh, you can put pictures in here, different things of uh, what you like, like what kind of vacations you want to go to. It's a little cute little secret book. And of course the Anna one is similar, but it's a little bit different too. It has different pictures and hers actually has a few different things like dreams, families, secret adventures, sister secrets, a bunch of different things that's a little bit different in this one. So cute little books and I assume that the bigger ones are the same deal. I think the bigger ones don't come with the lock and key journal feature but they do have similar things inside them as well. But I got these at Walmart and I got the other one I think at Target. And I also have this. And this is the musical water globe. It's not in the box right now because I wanted to show you it out of box, but this is what the box looks like. It was $25 and I bought it at FYE. And it was on sale for like $22 at the time. But here it is. It's a basic snow globe. And it's incredibly pretty. If I can show it to you without the glare, but it's hard to. It's really, really shiny. Uh, the Disney store had their own version of the water globe uh, originally before the movie came out. I actually think this one's a lot nicer personally. I think the base is a lot nicer and the image of the two girls inside of it's really nice. I think it's uh, painted a lot better. The other one had Olaf in it. And the figures were a lot smaller. It came out shortly before the movie came out. So it sold out really fast. And now it's kind of rare and expensive. So if you're looking for a water globe. And you want a cheaper alternative. I thought this was a pretty good deal. It has Sisters Forever on the base. And it's a sparkly paint all over. It's not perfectly painted. But neither was the Disney Store one to me. I, that I saw pictures of. Um, mine has a little chip on it because I didn't really look at it real good before I bought it. So, it's kind of a shame, but it's not like a big deal to me. It's, it's pretty. It's, it's a really pretty, uh, water globe, but it is a musical water globe. So I'm going to wind it up a little bit so you can hear it. So that is the water globe and it's really nice. You can get it at FYE. I also saw a few people selling it online and in some of the frozen sales groups on uh, Facebook. So if you want one, just look around. You should be able to find one pretty easily. So last but not least, I have another frozen tea. Got this one here. It's a nice image of Anna and Elsa and it has their name printed at the bottom. It's a glittery type image, too. I got it at Five Below, and it was only $5. So if you have Five Below near you and you want some frozen shirts, I can't recommend enough going there. Um, like I said, Hot Topic and JCPenney and other stores that sell frozen t-shirts that you see are usually around $20 each. 
you're never going to find a t-shirt this price, <laughs> at least a Frozen novelty one, this price anywhere else. It's really, really cheap. So, but thank you, thank you so much for watching this week. Um, I'm sorry it's a little late, <laughs> but I do appreciate you um, watching and definitely like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you all next week. All right, bye.